great win at Illinois, and, and one thing I wanted to ask you about that bowl game, what did Christian Coloco learn in particular about using his leverage as you, you talk about it against other big I mean, I, I think, you know, Christian's a, a tall, thin guy with a high center of gravity, so I think the lower he plays, the, the more successful he's going to be on the offensive end. Ben Matherin's back-to-back Pac-12 Player of the Week. He's had a great run here right now. Would it be impossible to say that, uh, that Ben's learning how good he is? I, I think so. We, we, you know, I, I told Ben you're you're in a results-oriented business, but there's a process. So so you've got to lock into the process. And I think when Ben starts his process out with effort and making simple plays, I think he's really good. When you got here and you started talking to the players about how you wanted this team to run, sharing the balls obviously been very important. When when did they see that, and when did they kind of grasp onto that concept? You know, one of the things you know. Uh, uh, really smart guy in basketball I talked with once in a while, Dennis Lindsay talked about, you know, he, he's had a lot of duty with the jazz successes, obvious unselfish plays. We want to be a team that makes the obvious unselfish plays. And that's what we've talked about. Play with great effort, play with great pace, and just make the obvious, simple, unselfish play. Three games before you get back to Pac-12 play, they're all very important, but you've also mentioned that you'd like to develop your bench a little bit more. Is that a goal here over the next couple games? Yeah, I mean, I, I've kind of put it, you know, in my notes, I would like to, you know, give guys more opportunities and, and you know, maybe play some different lineups, but again, you know, it's game to game. I mean, we're gonna approach every game, you know, like, like it's the Super Bowl, and we wanna do the best job we can to win that night out. You're ranked in the top 10 of almost all the, the rankings right now. Uh, it doesn't help you win games, but there's a point of pride there for the program, is there not? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, listen, the, the rankings are a thing that they, they're great for the fans. They generate interest, um, you know, and it's a great point for conversations, you know, but you're right, for us, we don't get to start out plus four, plus six, you know, it's zero, zero at the start. And, um, and so I'm, I'm happy for our guys that they're getting some positive results, but again, these seasons are long. I mean, we, I don't even think we played a third of our regular season games yet, so we got a long way to go. Did you have a lawn in Spokane? Oh, great one. Great, okay. amazing. Are you going to try and grow a lawn in No, no, no. The okay. water bills are way too expensive. <laughs> and, and, and in full disclosure, my wife did an amazing job taking care of our yard in Spokane. So uh, it, it, was, it was a point of pride for the family, for sure. And it's all on her now in Tucson? All on her now. She's okay. doing a great job with the fake grass. Oh.